Hello everyone, this is Shark, and today I'm making a tutorial on how to set up your build environment for SteamOS ISOs for, uh, yeah, well, either from Stefson's Rocket or VaporOS. Well, first thing you'll need, of course, is a virtualization environment, because the script currently only works in Ubuntu, which is kind of a shame, but it doesn't really matter. So first thing you'll need is VirtualBox or something else for virtualization, but VirtualBox is easy. You get the downloads. I pick up the package. I'm not gonna do that right now. I have already installed it. The installation process is next next finish. It's not that hard. Uh, then what you want to do is go to Ubuntu.com get the desktop version of 14.04 uh, see, take me to download and here you'll find the download um, I'll pause the video now, I'll continue when I have it okay so now I got the Ubuntu I'll show you what VirtualBox looks like this is VirtualBox. I already have some virtual machines, but you will, will have none. Uh, well, let's create an Ubuntu a virtual machine. I will call it Ubuntu SteamOS Builder. It doesn't really matter. You can pick whatever you want. Make sure you give it at least 2 gigabytes of memory. You want to make sure you have it set to dynamically allocated and well, I like giving them 50 gigs you can pick whatever you want as long as it's at least 20 you're get probably going to be fine you want to go into settings for your newly created virtual machine you want to go to system uh, no wait, to display and there you want to enable 3D acceleration and well, I'll give it some video memory doesn't matter oh, let's start it up here you are going to want to pick the Ubuntu image which you just downloaded pick wherever you download this And there we go. Uh, the installation process is pretty easy. It just takes quite... it can take up to quite a while if you have a mechanical hard drive for instance. Once you've reached this menu, just pick install. Uh, if you want things like flash and video playback in your VM, you can pick install third party. I do advise you uh, to pick download updates while installing, save you some work. Erase the full disk and install now. Well, I'm pretty close to Amsterdam, so that's fine. Uh, this keyboard layout works for me. I uh, you can pick whatever username you want. I'll just call it Steam. Make sure you can remember the password because you'll need it later. And 
this will take a while. I'll pause the video for now. I'll continue when it's done. Okay, the installation process is now finished. It asks you to restart. So, go ahead and do that. Okay, once you have rebooted the system, it should look like this. You can then open a terminal with Control, Alt, and T. We want to use this for installing some packages required for uh, pulling in the repo, and you also want to have VirtualBox guest editions. So we are going to use the command sudo apt hyphen get install git and for the virtualbox guest editions we need virtualbox guest uh, x11 that should do it that should ask for your password I'll post the command in the description as well pick yes This can take a while. It's usually pretty fast. Okay, now that is done. To enable the VirtualBox guest editions, we restart the system. Okay, now we have virtual box guest editions, which means that if we now resize, the virtual machine will resize as well. And that's pretty much the basics of installing the virtual machine. You now have a functional Ubuntu virtual machine. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to pull uh, from the git repo to and how to create your own ISOs.